I use Emacs just as much as I do VI. And I think mainly the reason is, is I work from the terminal a lot. And if I'm editing a file in a terminal, I'm going to use VI. If I'm shelling into a remote system and working with files there, I'm going to use VI. But if I'm working on a, a, a project locally on my own machine, I'm going to be using Emacs just simply because it's much faster and more efficient uh, than VI. Um, if I have a project with a large number of files, Emacs is going to maneuver through them quicker. The plugins that you install into Emacs is going to manipulate those files faster. If you open up larger files, syntax highlighting is going to lay down a lot quicker in Emacs than it would in VI. But I think the reason why a lot of people choose VI over Emacs or figure that they need to make a choice of one or the other is because Emacs, uh, without any plugins, virtually is just a live editor, meaning that if the cursor is in the window and I fat finger a bunch of keys, that text is going to be in the window. As opposed to VI, you can move around your files safely in visual mode. Uh, moving the cursor around and highlight and copy text without ever using a mouse or trackpad and paste that text wherever you want to put it. And that makes the modal functionality in VI much simpler. Because in Emacs, uh, in the visual, uh, you know, in, in the raw editing mode, you have to use uh, a nasty <laughs> collection of macros to be able to move around the file. Um, as opposed to just using HJKNL uh, to move around in the visual mode in them. So uh, I can see why people do choose VI. But the thing is, is that there are plugins that you can install into Emacs that virtually turn it into VI. So the same macros that you use in VI work in Emacs with these plugins. And that makes Emacs a faster, more efficient version of VI but it also gives you some added uh, functionality. For instance, uh, let's say that you're working in a terminal and uh, you decide that, hey, so there's some text in the terminal that I would like to copy and place in my code or in my notes. Well, if you're in the terminal, you're going to have to use your trackpad or mouse to copy, and copy that text. Um, in Emacs, you can change the mode of the terminal that you're in. So virtually, it's this acts the same way that the visual mode does in VI, where you can copy and select, select text that uh, is in your terminal. So there are a lot of scenarios where I need to grab text out of my terminal, and I can do that faster and more efficiently um, using a visual mode in Emacs than I can working from a stock terminal. So that's uh, one huge benefit. A another thing is, that, you know, I can shell into a server and work with files this way too, because there isn't any reason why I can't use them inside this terminal. So uh, there's no reason at all why um, Emacs isn't um, um, an efficient editor just because the um, extra functionality that you get with it. I mean, I can even run Tmax within uh, Emacs Terminal. So, you know, I, I think another reason why I do like uh, Emacs is because I use org mode. And there are several videos on how to use org mode, but it's a nice way to store uh, text files, uh, notes, and data. Um, even if, uh, even um, opening up encrypted files and working with encrypted text files and saving uh, saving. If you're on the cloud these days, and your your data isn't encrypted on the cloud, um, it's uh, it's bad news. So uh, there's a there's a reason why I, I really like using Emacs locally, and essentially, Emacs and VI are the exact same program with their respective plugins installed. And I use them both equally. I think that uh, people that are trying to choose one over the other are missing the reason why they're coming here in the first place. I mean, if you've seen anybody working Emacs or VI efficiently, 
they can maneuver around in files much quicker and more efficiently than someone who's lumbering uh, around in a GUI interface with uh, a mouse or a trackpad. Um, both these programs are fantastic and with their different use case scenarios, they are equally useful to you.